Here is an interesting failure mode of an LED Christmas light. This is a diode from a lighted nativity scene. The unit has a couple strings of lights around it and one of the sections went out and I determined that this was the faulty diode in the circuit. When I took the base out of the socket and I just had the diode in the base, I noticed that the diode was kind of loose and wobbly inside the base compared to other ones on the string. And when I went to remove it from the base, this lead wire snapped. This one's still fine and this one snapped off. Here's the True Tone light set that I just referenced. This is an LED set, so the same design as the uh, nativity scene lights are. And if you look in the bottom of the socket here where the wires go in, this is totally not watertight in the slightest. And you can actually see the contacts down in there. Uh, the metal part there, that's the contact where the diode leads will uh, connect to the string. And I critiqued this string in this manner and I said this is this is a bad design. This is a very common design. The majority of strings I've worked with have this design that allows water to get in there. And the problem is likely going to be that over time when it rains, the water will get in there and it'll corrode the contacts. It'll corrode either the contacts on the base, it'll corrode the, the diode leads, it'll corrode both. It'll make a corrosion mess and cause the bulb to stop working, and in some cases the entire set to stop working. Some are better than others in terms of this design. This string is better. You can see there's a lot less space for water to get in. This is not perfect, but it's better. Some strings are actually um, molded completely closed. The, the wiring is molded right into the plastic and there's no gap at all. It's completely watertight. Um, but here's a, here's a comparison between the two. Neither of these are, are waterproof in my opinion, but one of them is certainly closer to waterproof than the other. Here's another set for comparison purposes. And this one is very good. You can see this is pretty much completely watertight. The plastic is molded very close around the wire and there's not a lot of likelihood for water to enter through the base there. So I found this particular failure interesting because people come back and said, oh no, the true tones are fine because the diode leads must have a corrosion resistive coating to them or something like that. And that very well might be the case, I don't know. You know, True Tone is not a cheap garbage brand, so I have to imagine there was some type of anti-corrosion uh, steps taken to, to keep those lights good, even if water can enter into the socket. But I'm not a chemist and I don't know, I don't know the, the elemental makeup of the material that, that it was used. And I don't know what the material we used on here was either. I don't know how this material compares to what the the contacts inside the socket are made out of. Some people have said that this is um, copper with a coating on it. It doesn't look like copper to me, but that doesn't mean it's not. It could be some type of an alloy. It could have a coating. I don't know. I have no idea, really. But my expectation was, if there was corrosion, that we would see the corrosion take place down here, where this metal meets the contact. And that's the exact opposite of what happened here. Here we see the corrosion taking place where the wire is just sitting in a plastic channel inside the base and then where the, where the lead wire meets the contact, which is a potentially dissimilar metal, it's not corroded in the slightest. And the contact itself in the base was not corroded either. This contact is pretty much perfect all the way around. So the corrosion took place up here and it was so bad that it actually broke the lead. So that's really interesting to me that it didn't corrode where the metals meet. So could this be coated in some kind of corrosion resistant uh, coating? 
quite possibly I'm not sure so let's see is this close to breaking in the same way it doesn't necessarily seem to be let's let's stick this back in the base here So this would go like this, and then here the lead, the wire comes through, and you have to bend it up like this. It is a pretty sharp bend, um, and then this is how it would make contact inside the socket. Looks like maybe it went this way instead. See, these are kind of tricky because they're polarity sensitive, so you have to get it in the correct. Um, correct orientation and I don't know what, what that is without being able to test it but this is how it sits in here I'm just curious how many flexes will this take before it breaks it just broke okay and it broke very similar to uh, to where it did it on the other side, you know, right where the corrosion is. But this doesn't look... Let's see what kind of material it looks like on the inside. Does it look any different than the outside? If there was a coating on there, I would expect it to look different where it just snapped off than it does on the outside, but it looks like it's pretty much the same let me see if I can arrange this on the table to get a good macro picture of this. The end of that lead where it's freshly broken off does not look any different in color to me than the lead itself does on the outside. You know, it's not like a distinct copper color or anything like that, so I don't know. I'm not sure what the difference in the material is. But it's it's very badly corroded. And this, this took uh, just one season for this to take place. This was only used for one year. And then it failed like this. So it, it's isolated. You know, there's a couple hundred bulbs on there. And this is the only one that went bad. But I would say this is definitely a water-induced uh, corrosion failure. And I do think that this is a very common reason why these LED strings fail.